What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to install Minecraft Forge along with the Forge mods that I'm using for Industrialized, which is my YouTube series if you haven't been watching it. Um, basically I like to use Minecraft Portable for all my modded versions of Minecraft, that way I can have different copies, different versions. Um, I can copy and paste things at will without really affecting anything. So I'll put a link to Minecraft Portable as well as the other mods in the description, assuming I can fit it all. And I'm just going to double click the file I downloaded for Minecraft Portable. And I'm going to make a new folder called Industrialized. Left click and drag the Minecraft Portable.exe into the Industrialized folder. If you do not see the .exe on the end, you can hit your Alt on your keyboard, go to Tools, Folder Options, View, and uncheck Hide Extensions for Known File Types. If you're doing any kind of modding or installing mods, it's really useful to be able to see the file extensions. So you just double click the Minecraft P.exe, type in your credentials. And of course the login fails. And I failed again. <laughs> so now we wait for it to download the Minecraft files off the Minecraft website. This is basically the same thing as running a Minecraft normally except that it's self-contained in one folder. So basically if I wanted to I could take this industrialized folder or I could take the whole mine port folder with different mods on it, different modded Minecrafts and put it on a USB stick and bring it wherever I want it to. So we have a working copy of Minecraft. Now one thing I like to do is copy and paste the working copy, just the straight vanilla copy, and call it the version template. That way if you need any files out of it for your modded version, if you want to restore a file or or you know anything like that, then you can just copy and paste back and forth. So, okay, we need to go into mcp underscore data dot minecraft and then the bin folder, right click on minecraft dot jar and open with winrar. You want to open it with winrar and not extract it. So now I have all the files downloaded in here. I'm going to hold the windows key and the left cursor and then the windows key and the right cursor. So we're going to find the mods that we have to put inside the char file, which is Minecraft Forge, Mod Loader, Mod Loader MP, and Steve's Carts. Everything else just goes in the mods folder later on. So extract each archive to a separate folder. Now we do want to do Mod Loader first. Just left click and drag, let go, and then hit OK. Do mod loader MP. Minecraft Forge. And we still have to do Steve's carts, but I'm going to wait. First of all, I'm just going to close the jar file. And then I'm going to run Minecraft just to make sure it still works after putting Forge and mod loader MP on it. That will also make Minecraft generates some uh, some uh, mods folder and some requ like required files. Now there's one thing I forgot to do, and this is actually a good thing because a lot of people have this problem. If you launch Minecraft and you just get a black screen like this, it's because there's something in the jar file that you did not delete. I forget to do this all the time, but once you do it once or twice, then you realize pretty quickly what you're doing, or what you've missed. This guy right here, meta-inf. If you do not delete this folder, your Minecraft will not start. It has something to do with like encryption or something, I don't know. So now if we go back, cross our fingers, type in our username, hopefully it works. There we go. Start a quick test world. Perfect. Wow, that's a lot of pigs. Holy crap. Yeah, anyway. 
what's next on the agenda here? We have the base mods working. So now we select the, let's see here, we need Somnia, all the build craft zip files. Now it's important to note that these are the zip files. I did not extract any of the zip files. Also the industrial craft 2 dot jar. All the red power zip files. And decapitator. And we will right click and drag. Copy here. So let's see. Another thing we need is the Steve's carts. And I think I still need to put these three Steve's carts files into the jar file. Which I was waiting for after I had tested the other mods, the base mods, before I put these in the jar. You want to control your variables a little bit. Okay. So this is phase two. This is sort of like the intermediary mods, I guess you could say. Because we have, you know, Minecraft Forge mod loader. Those are the base mods. Or the framework. And then these are sort of, I guess you could say, inter intermediary mods. I don't know what people really call them. That's what I'm going to call them for this video anyway. Okay. So let me just make sure I didn't miss anything. We got Industrial Craft, we got Build Craft, Red Power, Somnia, Steve's Carts, and Tree Capitator. Let's make sure these work. Perfect. Let's make another new world. It's pretty important to make a brand new world every time you want to test the mods. That way you can really test them because if you're just loading a pre-generated world, it's not going to generate the new terrain with the new mods and it's not really a good test. Okay, so now that we have those mods installed, we will install, I guess you could say, almost like sub-mods, mods of mods. So we have advanced machines, forestry, and additional pipes. Forestry can sort of be considered an intermediary mod, but it does rely a lot on buildcraft, so I don't know, it's sort of a gray area. So again, we'll right click and copy here, right click and drag and copy here. Let's try this one last time. Delete, create new world. And there you go, you're pretty much done and I'm in a tree. There is one more thing I'm gonna show you. But first of all, we're gonna test the mods to make sure they're working. Basically what I wanna do is just craft some basic recipes to make sure the mods are working. Unfortunately, Red Power has no really basic recipe, so it's hard to test. Okay. Let's see. Need a workbench. And we need, let's see, tree tap for test industrial craft. So industrial craft is working. It sticks to test build craft. There's a wooden gear. Now the best way to test red power is just to go looking for red power world stuff. Which you may or may not find some rather quickly. There we go. There's a huge rubber tree right there. So basically you can look for rubber trees. You can look for volcanoes or basalt um, plains. or There's also indigo flowers which are like purple I think. Or if you want to climb down into a mine shaft, or, or this here, a bunch of marble. This is all red power stuff. I don't know if that's red power copper or industrial craft copper, which brings me to my next point. You can stop here, but there's one last tweak that I like to do. And let's go into your red power folder. 
right click on your red power config you can open it with regular old notepad by double clicking it but I downloaded notepad plus plus it's a free download highly recommended so this is your red power configuration just go down to the bottom and change copper equals one to coppers equals zero and tin equals zero this turns off the generation of copper and tin so red power already uses industrial craft copper and tin or they're interchangeable so there's no point in having both mods generating ore let's try one more time Again, we're gonna have to create a new world because we changed the world generation options now it's not easy to test this but just want to make sure it loads up at all and I think we're good to go that's pretty much it uh, yeah I don't think there's any other issues we ran into the the meta dash inf problem that's probably the most common one and just make sure that you get the base mods like buildcraft industrial craft red power ones that use up a lot of block ideas get them installed make sure that you double check to make sure that they're in your mods folder before you run minecraft and then start copying these over because if you don't have industrial craft installed or if you kind of do all these at once they're all going to try and generate their own block ids and like for instance forestry will generate block ids i think differently depending on whether or not industrial craft is detected so if you put forestry in and not industrial craft or forestry is loaded before industrial craft you could have some issues with block ids so always make sure you you install the main mods first load minecraft allow the mods to generate their block ids test a world like create a world test it run around for a minute save it close it and then install your sub mods like forestry advanced machines and additional pipes I think that's pretty much it uh, hope I didn't miss anything if I did miss anything I'll probably put a comment in the description or I may add to this I don't know if you have any questions post in the comments and hopefully this was of help to you thanks for watching